It's time to take a look at the weather. Severe weather is now moving across Florida as more storms develop in the deep south. Meteorologist Gerard Bailey is tracking that forecast. Uh, Gerard, you're from South Carolina. I'm from Virginia. I think I just called Florida the deep south, and I feel kind of bad about it. Uh, it's okay. You know, some people would say the very northern part is pretty close to that. It's really far south, but it's not the deep south. Culturally, part of Florida is. It's, it's the weird part. The north part is the south. It's true. And the south part is not. <laughs> it's South Alabama and South Georgia, you North it. Florida. It's all the same. Okay, so, well, Florida, the northern part, a.k.a. the south, <laughs> got hit pretty hard yesterday by thunderstorms. Today, we're going to be talking about the threat for severe weather once again, all right? So this is the third day in a row, and we're going to go into where it's going to be getting hit. First of all, this is what happened yesterday, and we're talking the panhandle, but it did reach all the way down into the peninsula itself. In fact, one spot in particular, Cape Canaveral, the Kennedy Space Center got hit by a pretty powerful supercell. Of course, that took out the Falcon launch, uh, any probabilities of that going out, but they had hail, wind gusts, and uh, wind damage. Yesterday's tornadoes were all in Florida, seven of them, and the hail uh, was pretty big too. So where's the threat today? Back deep in the heart of Texas, all right? So they had huge hail, as we saw uh, a couple days ago. Now, that was up to the size of grapefruits. <laughs> Amazing. They could have that same setup once again as we move through today. Dallas, Waco, Austin, San Antonio, golf ball plus size hail is going to be the main threat. There could be a chance for a few tornadoes today. Wind gusts to 60 miles per hour. It is a level three threat. So welcome to spring in the Lone Star State. Not the only thing we're tracking, though. We do have still major Mississippi River flooding everywhere from Minneapolis down south into St. Louis. Some places are approaching records. Davenport, we've been watching closely. 21.6 feet will be the location or the peak of that uh, swell coming through. Other places like McGregor in Iowa is also going to be looking at near major or near record flooding. So we're going to be watching this closely. That's the setup as we move into the weekend, though. Those locations, the middle, are, are actually going to quiet down. It's going to be our location getting some rain and thunderstorms. Sorry, Mitch, not going to be the greatest weekend for here in Chicago. Thanks for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation in your cable lineup. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-based, unbiased coverage.